The Shanbei State or Shanbei Confederation was a nomadic empire which existed in modern-day Mongolia, Inner Mongolia, Northern Xinjiang, Northeast China, Gansu, Buryatia, Zabaykalsky Krai, Irkutsk Oblast, Tuva, Altai Republic and Eastern Kazakhstan from 156 to 234. Like most ancient peoples known through Chinese historiography, the ethnic makeup of the Shanbei is unclear. History After the downfall of the Xiongnu, the Shanbei, who were a northern branch of the Donghu, established domination in Mongolia starting from AD 93. F. Rom the middle of the first century, the nomadic tribes that replaced the Xiongnu in Mongolia were collectively called the Shanbei. It should be pointed out that the names of the various peoples, or subdivisions of peoples, who came into China at this time do not indicate distinct ethnicities. The Shanbei state reached its height under the rule of the Kagan Tanshawai 141-181. Tanshawai of the Shanbei divided his territory into three sections, the eastern, the middle and the western. From the Yu Beeping to the Liao River, connecting the Fuyu and Mo to the east, it was the eastern section. There were more than 20 counties. The Darans chiefs of this section were called Mihia, Kweji, Suli and Huaito. From the Yu Beeping to Shanggu to the west, it was the middle section. There were more than ten counties. The Darans of this section were called Kezui, Kweja, Murong, et al. From Shanggu to Dunhuang, connecting the Wusun to the west, it was the western section. There were more than twenty counties. The Darans of this section were called Jijian Luoluo, Railu Tuyan, Yanlayu, et al. These chiefs were all subordinate to Tanshawai. Uneasiness at the Han court about this development of a new power on the steppes finally ushered in a campaign on the northern border to annihilate the confederacy once and for all. In 177, 30,000 Han cavalry attacked the confederacy, commanded by Sha Yu, Sha Yu Tian Yan, Tian Yan and Zhang Min, Zhang Min each of whom was the commander of units sent respectively against the Wuan, the Chang, and the southern Xiongnu before the campaign. Each military officer commanded 10,000 cavalrymen and advanced north on three different routes, aiming at each of the three federations. Cavalry units commanded by chieftains of each of the three federations almost annihilated the invading forces. 80% of the troops were killed and the three officers, who only brought tens of men safely back, were relieved from their posts. A Han memorial submitted in 177 states. Ever since the northern Zongnu ran away, the Shanbei have become powerful and populous, taking all the lands previously held by the Zongnu and claiming to have 100,000 warriors. Refined metals and wrought iron have come into the possession of the Shanbei rebels. Han deserters also seek refuge in the lands of the Shanbei and serve as their advisors. Their weapons are sharper and their horses are faster than those of the Shangnu. Another memorial submitted in 185 states. The Shanbei people, invade our frontiers so frequently that hardly a year goes by in peace, and it is only when the trading season arrives that they come forward in submission. But in so doing they are only bent on gaining precious Chinese goods, it is not because they respect Chinese power or are grateful for Chinese generosity. As soon as they obtain all they possibly can from trade, they turn in their tracks to start wreaking damage. Tanshawai died in 181 at the age of 40. The Shanbei state of Tanshawai fragmented following the fall of Budugan reign 187 to 234, who was the younger brother of Kutoi reign 185 to 187. Kuatu was the nephew of Tanshiwai's incapable son and successor Helian reigned 181 to 185. The economic base of the Shanbei was animal husbandry combined with agricultural practice. They were the first to develop the Khanate system, in which formation of social classes deepened, and developments also occurred in their literacy, arts and culture. They used a zodiac calendar and favored song and music. Tengrism was the main religion among the Shanbei people. After they lost control over Mongolia, their descendants in North China later became fully versed in Chinese cultural traditions. In 235, Sao Wei, the state that succeeded the Eastern Han 25-220 in North China, assassinated the last Kagan of the Shanbei, Kebaneng, and caused the disintegration of the Shanbei state. After the fall of the last Khans, Budugan and Kebaneng, in 234, the Shanbei state began to split into a number of smaller independent domains. 
The 3rd century saw both the fragmentation of the Shanbei state in 235 and the branching out of the various Shanbei tribes later to establish significant empires of their own. The most prominent branches were the Morong, Tuba, Khitan people, Shiwei and Roran Khaganate. Shanbei peoples subsequently pushed their way inside the Great Wall of China and established an extensive presence in the Sixteen Kingdoms 304 to 439, Northern Dynasties 386 to 581, all through the Sui 581 to 618, and Tang Dynasties 618 to 907, the Khitan people, who founded the Liao Dynasty 916-1125 in China proper, were included among the Yuan Shanbei of Southern Mongolia, who had earlier founded the Western Wei 535 to 556 and Northern Zhou 557 to 581 of the Northern Dynasties in North China in opposition to the Southern Dynasties founded by the Chinese in South China. Khitan ruled Liao China gave rise to the use of Cathay as a name for China in the Persianate world and medieval Europe. This same term is an archaism for the Western world in Standard Chinese. The Mongols derived their ancestry from the Mengwu Shiwei of Inner Mongolia and Northeastern Mongolia, where Shiwei is a variant transcription for Shanbei. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Rulers. Bianhe, 49 AD. Yuchupan, 54. Sijijian, 121 to 132. Tanshawai reigned 156 to 181. Helian 181 to 185. Kuatu 185 to 187. Budugan 187 to 234. Topic. See also. Topic. References. Topic Citations Topic Sources Topic External Links The Roots of Tanshiwai's Campaigns in one hundred fifty six to one hundred seventy eight AD